Hi, this is Riyan from Masbi Noob. In this lab guide, I'll be configuring Security Zone based policies in Checkpoint Firewall RET1. Security Zones allows you to create a strong access control policy that controls all traffic between different parts of the network. A Security Zone object represents a part of the network, for example, the internal network or the external network. When you assign a network interface of a security gateway to a security zone, you can then use the security zone objects in the source and destination columns of the rule base. Let me show you the lab topology which I'm going to use in this lab guide. As you can see, I have four different networks in my test lab. First for checkpoint management network. Second is for local LAN and servers. And third is for DMZ, where I will put servers like web server or maybe email server. Fourth and last is for internet. For these networks, I'm going to create associated zone and based on that zone, later I'll create zone based policies. Let's jump to a Windows 10 smart console virtual machine. As you can see, already I have access smart console dashboard on this Windows 10 virtual machine. Before we create custom security zone, uh, let me show you the some predefined security zones available on Checkpoint Firewall RET1. And to see those under object categories, we need to click on network objects and then click on security zones. You can see some predefined security zones which are available on Checkpoint Firewall RET1 with their intended purposes like a DMZ zone, external zone, internal zone, and a wireless zone. Let's talk about DMZ zone. A DMZ is sometimes referred to as a parameter network. It contains company servers that can be accessed from the external sources. A DMZ lets external users and applications to access specific internal servers, but prevents the external users from accessing secure company network. Wireless zone means those networks that can be accessed by users and applications with a wireless connection. External networks means those networks which are not secure such as the internet and other external network. And the last one is internal zone. Those are the company networks with sensitive data that must be protected and used only by authenticated users. For this lab guide, I'll create four security zones based on my topology. One for local company network, second for checkpoint management network, third for external network, and fourth for DMC network. So to do so, let's double click on our security gateway MBN R81-GW01. I'm going to click on network management. Already I have configured the topology and anti-spoofing settings on all the interfaces. In your case, if you haven't configured those settings, then you need to click on GAT interfaces and then click on GAT interfaces with topology. Click on yes to continue and it will give you the result based on the topology. Let's click on accept to accept those changes. Perfect. Let's select our interface ETH0 and then I'm going to click on edit. Uh, based on the our topology, it is saying that this interface ETH0 is leads to this network. Which network? Internal network. As you can see, security zone type is set to none. So to define the security zone, let's click on a modify. Under security zone, you can verify that user defined option is selected. If you want, you can also go with this option according to topology. Uh, this interface is connected to internal zone. But you want to manually define the zone and that's why I'm going to select this checkbox, specify security zone. Here you can see the list of those predefined security zone object, but you want to create a new one and that's why I'm going to click on new. Let's enter object name. In my case, it is going to be checkpoint management. Let's enter object comment. Okay, let's click on OK. Make sure CPMGMT is selected. Perfect. Click OK. And click OK. You can see under security zones, the object is listed there, CPMGMT. 
If you want, you can also create an object from by clicking on new and then selecting other options. Uh, let me show you that. Click OK. Let's click on new. Select more. Select network object and select a security zone. That is going to open the same window. Fine. Uh, let's double click on our gateway. Click on network management. Select our second interface, which is ETH1. Let me show the topology. It is from a LAN segment. Click add it. Click on modify. Select the checkbox, specify security zone. I'm going to click on this return button. Select new. And let's give name HO inside. Let's uh, enter object comment. Head office, LAN and servers. Click OK. Perfect. OK. And OK. Select interface ETH2. Click on edit. Uh, let me show the topology. This is going to be our DMC zone. Click on modify. Select specific security zone. Click on this drop down button. Click on new. And enter object name at your DMC. Let's enter object comment, head office DMC. Click OK. Make sure HO DMC is selected. Click on OK and click on OK again. Select last interface ETH3, which is connected to internet. Click on edit. Click on modify. Select specify security zone. Click on this drop-down button. Click on new. And this is going to be HO outside. Enter object comment, head office internet. Click OK. OK again and OK again. Perfect. So at this point, we have successfully created the security zone objects as per our requirement. Now I'm going to click on OK to save the changes. Let's click on publish to save those changes to our security management server. Okay, let's click on install policy. Click on install. Click on details. Perfect. Let's click on close. So at this point, we have successfully created the new security zone objects as per our requirement. Next, I'm going to create access control policies using this newly created security zone object. And for that, I'm going to click on security policies. As you can see, we have a only one default cleanup rule. Let's right click on rule number one. Now first, I'm going to create a new section title above. I'm giving name, allow internet access to head office, LAN and servers. Then, Again, I'm going to click on this uh, default cleanup rule. Let's uh, select new section title above. Let's give name default cleanup rule. Let's select the section title. Let's right click here and select new rule below. Let's give name allow ICMP and NTP. Under source, I'm going to click on this uh, plus icon. Here, recently use object are listed. And from that, I'm going to select HO inside. Let's click on this plus icon to add the new security zone object HO inside as a source in this rule. Destination is going to be any or you can say all internet object. Let's select it. Services, click on this plus icon. Let's add ICMP. Uh, it is going to be eco request NTP as well. Click on plus icon. Let's click on this drop down button and action is going to be accept. We also want to generate logs. So I'm going to select log. Let's click on this plus icon and select a security gateway. So as of now, we have only one security gateway and that is our MBN R81 hyphen GW01. Perfect. Let's right click here, select new rule, 
below allow dns okay let's uh, select h inside and drag it inside as a source of this second rule let's do the same for destination as well uh, services is going to be dns okay action is going to be accept we also want to generate log add a security gateway perfect let's create a third rule allow web surfing again h inside as a source or internet as a destination services is going to be http and http as as well action is going to be accept want to generate log and let's select a security gateway perfect so i have created access control rules to allow internet access to head office lan and servers using newly created security zone object atu inside but still internet is not going to work in atu inside the reason is very simple one because we haven't configured nothing related settings on our checkpoint firewall and for that again i'm going to click on gateways and servers and see right now we are not discussing about uh, that hide net static net hide behind the gateway or other net i'll create a separate lab guide on individual topic like hide netting and static and manual netting fine by this point i want to keep this video short and simple and that's why i'm going to double click on our security gateway uh let's select net and i'm going to select this checkbox hide internal networks behind the gateways external ip click okay perfect now i'm going to save these changes on our security management server and for that i need to click on this uh, publish let's click on publish now let's click on install policy to push this policies or to our security gateway let's click on install let's click on details okay perfect let's click on close so the configuration part is completed now we just need to test this settings and for that i'm going to use one computer from our lan segment uh, this is windows 7 virtual machine with the ip address 192.168.22.7 okay uh, let's open command prompt and first of all i'm going to check ping from this computer to this interface eth1 let's type ping 192.168.22.1 as you can see we are receiving reply from that ip address let's click on internet explorer and let's check whether this windows 7 computer can access google.com website or not https www.google.com let's press enter key and without any issue this windows 7 computer can access google.com website that means this windows 7 pc is connected with internet using those policies which we have created on checkpoint firewall we also want to check logs as well so let's go back to the windows 10 computer click on security policies and uh, let's select the rule allow web surfing click on logs let's wait for the logs to load up perfect we have the entries let's double click on this entry it is saying this log is generated on our security gateway this is the timestamp bleed firewall but we are more interested in traffic as you can see source 192.168.22.7 this is the ip address of a windows 7 virtual machine so sport source is on and this is the most important thing source is on it is internal and the access rule is coming from allow web surfing rule number 3 so this is how you can create security zone object and configure security zone based policies in checkpoint firewall rt1 thank you for watching see you all in the next lab guide